You know, this is the first time in a while where I've gone from one episode to the other where I haven't continued recording, where I took a break in between episodes. And I'll tell you what, my the wind has been completely blown out of my sails. Uh, because earlier today, you know, obviously in between episodes, I burnt the back of my hand really bad. So right on my right fingers, um, like right on the back of my... Uh, I guess my pinky, my ring finger, and my middle finger just like nice. super burned them on a on a burner on the oven. And uh, yeah, really freaking hurts. So just throwing that out there because I have a feeling it is going to affect how well we're able to get through this. So if I don't kill Kronos or um, Cerberus, I'm going to say it was down to the burns. Had nothing to do with the build because this build is freaking excellent. I love it. I'm having so much fun with this. But I was really excited to get in Flourish. and finish the run because of how well we were doing. And then I'm just like, nah, I don't want to play anything. <laughs> I've got like burn cream on my hands. It's all bandaged stuff. It's like, it's a bad burn. It's seriously, probably. Uh, I'm trying to think for a second. Yeah, I think it is the worst burn I've ever had. I don't think I've ever burned my myself that badly, so. It's kind of what we're dealing with now. I'm, I'm a gimp <laughs> running with with two fingers essentially working which is all that I need. Index finger and thumb. Blast these nerds. Man, we do so much AoE burst damage. It is so good. I love it. You really got him, didn't you, gorgeous? Little Birdie told me everything, how you fought all the way into those rancid depths and took that Kronos down. Though, he's already back and angrier than ever, isn't he? Of course, that's what he does. Uh, cast inflict weak and damage throws while dragging them towards the center. That's actually not bad. Um, deal more damage while you have at least 80% health. The bonus is doubled. <laughs> Excuse me. Or I can uh, prime 20 mana, 20 magic rather to give my attacks plus five power, which actually is not bad, to be honest. Um, how much magic do I have? 118. Uh, I mean, it's really good. Plus five on every attack is not, not bad. But also just 10% bonus damage. 20 if I'm at max health, like, or close to max. I think that's also pretty good. I think that will end up giving us more overall damage because it's not necessarily our attack that's doing the damage it is of course the um the burst from our weapon effect right Out of the way, Phantom. yeah let's just start blasting oh my goodness remember just in the previous run how it was taking us a hot minute to kill this guy and now look at this he's he is screwed <laughs> yep that was easy <laughs> where you're going. love it I could switch boons. Oh, I wish. That is so good. Specials deal more damage in a larger area, 150%. But we can't get rid of that that crazy explosion effect. It's kind of what's like, it's what, every eight seconds it's going off? And it's doing a lot of damage, so... I kind of feel... Well, actually, I, if I... Mm, <laughs> I have to consider this. What is the other effect that I have? It is, yeah, the blast effects from Hephaestus are larger. Because if I if I swapped to this, I would be hitting my specials with my attack very regularly because they're going to be a lot larger. But I feel like um, I feel like going with extra dose is probably the better option. Oh, that's a shame because that Something is there. that's a great upgrade. All right, Selini, probably. That actually sounds pretty good because we've been waiting to get the upgrade. So we can put some uh, points into that. Definitely do that, I think. Shades there. Let's go ahead and special attack. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's, Illuminate my path. it's kind of ridiculous how much damage it does. And it's not to like any one thing. It's like if there is an enemy within like five feet of me, it dies. 
It's so much fun. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. Oh, let's not get sucked in again, shall we? Kill that thing before it does. Uh, you know what? I, th I think the double dose is probably a very good choice. I think it's going to end up working in our favor pretty heavily. Enough. All right, let's get this. Uh, we have 10 upgrades here, so we can go to uh, Hex creating three smaller blasts that each do 100 after how many seconds? Half second. Um, after using your Hex foes in the target area, take 30% damage. After using your Hex foes in the target area, move 80% slower. Hex fires plus one moon blast for two seconds after the first. Magic recharge costs plus 50. And then your Hex also creates a, an Omega cast in the target area. That one's not bad. I actually kind of like the moonbeam thing, and we're going to get to our Hex pretty regularly, so I think we do that. Um, and it also gives them the slow if we go down this way, which I think is really good. Um, I'm going to make it so it has 100 power. Uh, I deal 5% damage when it's not ready. I'm going to grab the uh, Hex starts 40% charged. Deals 20% larger area. If it's not ready, deal an extra 5% damage. And then the Moonbeam. Okay. Um, we'll do the slow, of course. I feel like... Um, going to larger area. Uh, larger... Oh, I can't get to that one. It's only inward. Oh, no. That sucks. Oh, I would have just gone boom, boom, boom then. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, what's the likelihood of me getting another Selene? I'm not sure. I kind of don't want those smaller blasts for 300 damage. I think I'd want the larger area, honestly. Just because it's so hard to hit Kronos. And if I have an extra 40% larger area, um, I feel like that's pretty good. Or actually, it'd be... We have another one over here that we've already gotten. I don't know. Let's just grab that one and that one and call it good. Two more. I think having the potential extra 300 damage is really strong. And that's on top of the, um, the slow, so it'll keep them there. Reinforced. So I'm hoping that that will end up working in our favor. Uh, let's go get this money and then we'll go get the magic. Let's clear these guys real fast. Man, I do love the, the explosion effect. It is very more good. Tainted gold. All right, one more. Any enemies over here? No, it's it's an actual like spawn enemy one. Yeah, it. Just, oh my goodness, this thing just annihilates stuff. Like if my immunity build is is what I consider too strong and needs to be immediately nerfed, I think. I think this one is up there is very strong, but not quite on the nerf level yet. Like right on the cusp. If it were any stronger, I think it would need some kind of adjustment. Uh, we gotta go to the data the same. I would love some kind of attack. I think that'd be great. Actually, any attack boon that kind of assists with what we're doing here would be freaking fantastic, but unnecessary. Another special boon would be really good, but I doubt we're going to get one. Flourish. Uh, I got more health here. Oh, this thing is going to get wrecked. <laughs> That's died very quickly, didn't it? Uh, let's put my cast down. I think that would be ideal. Let's also put this down while I'm at it. So when I run out of magic, I really need to hunt down that ball. I was looking for it, but I couldn't see it because it was next to the max life uh, upgrade there. Fast my foes. Something I got to consider for sure. Also, I didn't realize that that 300 damage was happening before that big explosion comes down. So I, I at least get like a guaranteed 300 damage if I cast that on Kronos or Cerberus. Um, so it's not a complete waste if I throw it down and it takes forever to launch and then they walk out of it. Omega specials projectiles orbit 40% faster. Wow. 
channel Omega attack 50% faster and it uses minus one magic. Wow. <laughs> um, inverted spark also really good for this. All of these are really good. So having, I think clean candle is going to be the best one because that means I'm launching that many more attacks, which are causing that many more explosions. Yeah, I'm going to blast through my magic, but you know what? Totally worth it. Yeah, that's a lot of burst damage. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Give me the max magic and uh, let's, let's see what we can do from there. Yeah, that's um, that's a lot of attacks. It's kind of crazy. I'm gonna go get that magic in a second if I need it. Oh, okay. Ended up working out. Shocking that the the one extra reduction on that makes it so it's very usable. Let's get this trove. I can use the magic or the money. And then, all right, slam quickly. Yeah, we know. We're gonna try. Okay, one more. Beautiful. How much yeah, gold did I get from that? 86. You know what? That's pretty good. That's everything. Cool. Uh, shop or Hermes? Let's go shop. Gives me Out some flexibility way. on maybe more max magic. Um, nope. But I will go with Aphrodite. In the name of Hades. Are you kidding me? That's insane. <laughs> Your specials deal more damage to nearby foes, which they're always going to be. Uh, 330% damage. I don't know if I can pass that up. So, what about life affirmation? So this is any one, any healing or any max life rewards I find have a greater effect. Does that is that retroactive to all the ones I have found so far? Because that's also not a bad option considering we're a very melee build. I don't know. I think I gotta try Flutter Flourish, but that gets rid of the Hephaestus thing. This must be love. I don't know. I think that that might be very strong. Might, all right, like it's it's possible it's not going to do anything and that was the wrong choice, but it's also possible that the 330% extra damage is going to be really insane considering anytime I'm using my Omega special, things are going to be next to me anyways. It's never not going to be doing that. All right, let's do this. Oh, oh my goodness, that my asthma. I'll tell you what. Let's not get in that, shall we? I mean, Cerberus is already at half-life. <laughs> so... You can't really deny it being good. Because it's doing a lot of damage. But that could just be the normal build, too. It's kind of hard to tell which one is doing which. I know I've mentioned it before, but I would really like if... If, um... Where's my mana thing? Give me that back. I would really like if Hades had the vampire survivors kind of screen at the end that tells you how much damage anything did. I feel like that would be very useful, at least to me. Okay, where did he go? Way over here, doing donut. Totally okay taking damage because we're about to heal it all up. I <laughs> we just blasted him. That was a lot of damage. I'm tired for the moment. Fearsome Cerberus gives the princess an appreciative look. You're welcome. Is that it? Is there anything in this um, ring that was extra? No. Nope. Well, no, there was. Flower. Thought I saw something. All right, let's. Go heal. Could switch my keepsake. I am gonna switch my keepsake. Thank you very much. 
doesn't quite put us at the extra damage, but um, I'm going to take my lucky tooth. Going to need that for Kronos. Uh, I'm going to check the shop here. Gain two mystery seeds. Special steal 40% damage for the next five encounters. I feel like that's really good. All right. Um, I'm going to do the heal on that. Okay, and let's go down. One last drop. Just using some of that mana, or money, rather. <laughs> I've been using so much of my mana, my magic, whatever it's called, that I, um, it's just ingrained in my brain right now. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm here. <laughs> my hand hurts like, like crazy, but I'm having a lot of fun. So, let's see how well we do this. Again, kind of annoying that those guys start spawning while it's still red. It's really hard to see where they're at. Gotta be kind of careful with that, it looks like. Go ahead and hit that magic. The rest is gonna spawn real quick. Yeah, I feel like to the house shall go unpunished. I feel like we have really high clear potential. That's kind of a joke, by the way, considering it's very obvious. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I get hit by them. Pop that down so they get stuck, so I can clear these guys. Yeah, anyway, so I just started blasting, you know. <laughs> Give it to me. Rest easy now. Freenos is the best. Ooh, marble. I think, actually, with this, we may be at... Or no, I think maybe we need 10 for whatever the marble was for. We're really close to having everything we need. I think. For whatever uh, incantation that was. I do feel like this may be our last run before the the update, though. I think, I think that's what I'm going to commit to. And the update will be probably out within the next month or two. Which gives me a bit of a break from Hades, which is nice. It leaves us having unlocked almost everything. And it also puts us in a situation where um, we are free to go do other games for a little bit. Because there's a bunch of good games coming out. We got uh, Star Wars Outlaws. Hopefully it's a good game. Um... Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2, which I'm actually very excited for, if you know my recent love for, for Warhammer. Um, though I'm probably not doing that on the channel, but I will do like a, an impressions video of it. And uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, Dragon Age Veilguard is at the end of October. Hades should be back by then though. It's just like there's a lot going on. As soon as we enter fall, it's always like this every year. Everybody's trying to get their game out for the Game Awards, so it qualifies for a Game Award this year. And it's out before, you know, the holidays. So you get all of the, um, the extra holiday shoppers. It's just wise. This... this is private property. Probably cast that a little too early. Last of last. <laughs> They're gone. Can't right now. That happened very quickly. Thank you, Father. I'll take the extra ninety-one gold. That's a that's a pretty good uh, increase there. Do I, is there no other room? Am I already down to one? It's not giving me any bonus rooms. We're gonna get to that to the last one, and it's gonna like. That's that's it. I mean, not that I need any extra rooms. I don't think. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I feel like, you know, it's kind of useful, but I don't, I don't, I'm not sure I do need them. I would like more health. I think that's another thing. Whether it be a heal or max health, I'm okay with either or, but I do kind of feel like we are running around as like a melee magic. Ooh, Hephaestus. Oh my goodness, if we get it on attack, if we get his explosion effect to swap out for our attack, that would be crazy good. Because we could, um... We can still get the effect of the blast that we're doing before as well. Good riddance. Come on, swap it. Oh. 
<laughs> I tried. I mean, I could re-offer, but that gets rid of the anvil ring, which I think is really good. But maybe? No, let's just do anvil ring. My silver. I'll save the swap for a potential boon here at the end. I think it's better to do it that way. Because the, the attack one that I have right now is they're doing damage in a larger area, which means they're larger, right? Which means they're hitting my specials more frequently. And if they're hitting my specials more frequently, the house is just ahead. then obviously I'm doing more damage. The monstrous hound of hell bears countless fangs as if to say, back off. Can I gift him? No, I don't have anything to gift him with. Daughter, tell me what became of the Witch of the Crossroads, should you know? When all seemed lost, your mother and I, we left you in her care. And she has cared for me ever since. Prepared me. Though we had best not speak of her in these chambers. Suffice it to say, the unseen remain in shadow. Good. She was... Well, as you say, we'd best say nothing more. So if you have the opportunity, extend to her my deepest gratitude. <laughs> He's definitely changed a bit, you know, since the last game. I love that. Uh, after you take damage, go dark for 10 seconds. Gives me 100% extra damage, which is really good. In your confrontation with Kronos, do 20% health burst beginning, or do 10% damage um, per used death defiance. I think I'm gonna do the dark one because that's now leave me be. That's just us at this point doubling down and saying, "Yep, yeah, let's do a bunch of damage. Let's just blow him up." <laughs> I definitely want to heal here, but that double upgrade seems really good. I kind of feel like I need to do the upgrade before these other two, um, but I don't have enough, so I think I think I go for the cheap one first. Let's see what we get. I accept this message. Uh, whenever I use 30 magic, create a heartthrob. It's gonna do that pretty often, so that's a pretty good one to get. I do kind of feel like, there. I feel like it might be better to go for this in the heal. Cause she might be able to boost me, you know? Whenever you create a heart, heartthrob, create more. I can create two with this duo boon. Huh. Or my attacks deal more damage to nearby foes. Which I am, again, close up all the freaking time but the larger attack i think is better for me so having two extra heart throbs i think that's way better vitality we're gonna be spending a lot of magic at any given point so having three heart throbs constantly spawning beautiful <laughs> refreshing welcome to my house you are quite dangerous, I must admit. You have repeatedly breached into Tartarus and this house. Impossibilities, if not for your tainted bloodline. And you are able to withstand my conjuring. Might I again politely ask you how? Because I'm awesome. You call that politely? You didn't even say the magic word. <laughs> magic, as in. Since you really want you know, to know. I see it. I'm from the future. <laughs> You'll later come to realize the error of your ways and teach me to stop you before you can cause more harm. That is such a good line. <laughs> oh, quite an imaginative tale. A comedy for the utterly outrageous premise beggar's belief. My girl, one cannot travel back in time. Time marches ever forward, and I alone determine at which rate. Well, that's what you think. But in my world, we're gonna absolutely destroy you, my guy. Yes, draw him close. No, he, he didn't. <laughs> I blasted him too quickly. He didn't want to. Goki. Get that full magic back. Okay, he's gonna come at me. This is when I do this. 
not. It'd be nice if I could bring him back over here, but he does not want to come back in my hole. Wait, that yeah, came out way wrong. So when I went in my mat, my <laughs> my circle. <laughs> I think not. I don't know if I can get these guys dead without taking damage from these circles. Man. Eh. Okay, I, di I didn't take as much damage as I thought I might. So that's better than nothing, at least. Okay. Just transition him, please. Thank you. This next part's gonna be tough. I don't do well against these uh, little nerdy boys. Uh, the, what are they called? You know what I'm talking about. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh no, that was really bad timing on all that. Okay, let's... Oh, I don't have enough magic. Where's my spawn? There it is. Oh no, I messed up on that, because I didn't get to actually do the damage. Oh, but he could still damage me? What bull crap is that? <gasps> I just happened to run into the circle at the same time that it was gonna do it. That's so stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's do this, that, this, blow all these nerds up. No, 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 Zen. Oh no, this is really bad. Okay, that's my second death defiance. Don't screw this up, Zen. Run! Goodness. No, don't get hit again. I can't see anything. There's too many explosions. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my goodness. Nope. That was it. Yep. Oh, I got stuck too many times in that fight. Alright, that's the first time I've died to him in like four attempts so that's pretty good again i should have been able to do it i got stuck right at the uh, beginning of that encounter and got um just lost my first death defiance that's what screwed me up there other than that i think this build is exceptional you know mel you can be a bit uptight sometimes where did you even get that from even that witch is more relaxed than you look i'm under a lot of pressure right now all right everybody's counting on me to literally kill time so I would like this tent to be an orderly place, seeing as I'm having to return so often. <laughs> so what? Killing time is my specialty. Don't see me again all worked up. <laughs> Ugh. My kids would say that. <laughs> Wasting time is my specialty. How can you be so certain that there are no more weavings taking place? That rather than the fates setting the course of our lives, there's no pattern anymore. Only sheer mindless chance. I never said I was certain. Only that I no longer sensed my sister's work, and it's a relatively well-honed sense. But I've also never been apart from my sisters like this. I feel unmoored. As though you don't know where you're going. To me, everything feels the same as ever, present circumstances notwithstanding. How much control did the fates truly have? They are highly influential, I can tell you that. But can they force your every action, every thought? Of course not. You are conscious. It was your choice to speak with me just now. But the fates knew we'd meet. Hmm. Precisely. Um, the fated list. Yeah, I don't have anything new May on there. Help you? She want to talk to me? I guess so. Eris, you, you said before that I don't even know what I'm missing. What did you mean by that? Didn't mean your family, that's for sure. Come on, look at yourself. You've never lived a day in your life. That heart beating in your chest, you think it's only there to pump your blood. Just another muscle. The heart is a muscle. And so what if I never lived a day? I'm more of a night person. What should I be out feasting? When Olympus is in peril and the underworld in utter disarray? Maybe. But you just want everything nice and orderly and predictable and boring. That's not true. You sure? Hmm. Such a mess. She threw a lot of that down. <laughs> You're awake. I know. Let me go get my seeds before I do anything else. 
Gotta make sure I got all of my things to craft with. Um, let's talk to her and then we'll go to that. I have a message from my father that he asked me to relay. He sends his deepest gratitude. Lord Hades told you this. Why ever for? He rots in his own prison whilst the Titan ransacks his domain. My charge was to safeguard the realm and I did not. Father spoke of when he left me in your care, when Kronos struck. He must have feared the worst. Now he knows I'm well, all thanks to you. No, Melinoe, all this is thanks to Kronos. Your father would do well to save his gratitude ere we settle certain scores. Oh, speak not to him of this undignified response. I merely was taken aback. Of course, I understand. That's a pretty reasonable response, I think. Um... Well, it's not what I was expecting, but it's reasonable. Here are the bones. All right, uh, let's go see what I can do. Can I do anything? There must be an incantation that can help. Still need the two wool. Still need the driftwood. Still need a bronze and <laughs> I need three bronze and one iron. <sighs> um, and that's it. That's really annoying. <laughs> we can do shadow extraction. Um. We can get, what is this for? Oh, right. So we can get enough moon dust to do some upgrades, which is actually not a bad idea. I kind of feel like maybe we should get that one going. Power to create. It'll be worth the wait. Yeah. I once was desperate to hear the siren's song. I barely resisted their temptations. Of course I was merely mortal. Perhaps you're less susceptible to their allure. Perhaps. At any rate, I fail to see the appeal. Although, it's possible the sirens are better off without Skilla. She seems rather bossy. If she's a menace. Caught half a dozen of my crew like she'd a separate set of teeth for each of the poor lads. We'd little choice but to pray to the gods and sail on. Tell her hello for me. Do the gods answer your call, at least? For the most part. <laughs> Alright, what seeds can we get going? We got like Drink nothing left, earth. which I, I guess is kind of fine. Um, ah, that's a nice touch. Just gonna alternate these, I guess. Grow strong. I mean, that's again, that's a lot of stuff there. Welcome to the crossroads, Shade. Welcome. Okay, um, I'm not going to do any upgrades because we can't do that yet. What do we got here? Um, is it showing me anything new? I don't think it is because it's just showing me the stuff that I already have things unlocked for. So what, what weapon is the next one? The blades? The time to prove yourself has finally come. The game is like really laggy now. Alright, I'm, I'm going to give the game a second. So are you going to earn the gifts of the veil over there? Or squander your chance to get some of that eternal glory? Eternal glory? If such a thing may come to those who manage to achieve extraordinary feats, so be it. But to chase glory as a goal unto itself? That can't be right. At least, it's never been our way. But our ways can change, wouldn't you say? We mustn't become mired in the olden ways of doing things. Though I don't mean to pressure you, kiddo, it's just... I think you ought to get what's yours is all. I'll think about it. Right. Okay, so uh, upgrade for this. So we have a aspect of Artemis or aspect of Pan. So Artemis is when you channel your Omega attack, you occasionally parry, then repost right after. And the Pan is your specials seek foes in your casts and fire more shots if you channel longer. Oh, that's interesting, but I don't know how good that is, you know? Um, I mean, I feel like we need to unlock one of them. While you channel your Omega attack, you occasionally parry. And we also get 20% Omega attack speed. Um, hmm. And then repost is you're impervious for one second. Uh, 
Your next nine strikes have plus 50% critical chance. I mean, that might be good. But Aspect of Pan would be like, let's do a special build, which we've not really been able to do with um, with the blades yet. So let's try it. Got me the Aspect of Pan. Never met him, but I heard good things. <laughs> Some stupid skill. All right, and then we can now upgrade the Aspect of Pan if we so choose. So Omega Special Max Shots, we can go that up to two. But I don't want to upgrade that one because I don't know how good it's going to be. You know, don't want to waste uh, my time on it. We're going to head to the surface, I think. And so we got to consider which um, which keepsake to take with us. So what would be good for special? Apollo, maybe? Demeter? Not Poseidon. I haven't really done much with Poseidon in this game. I don't feel like he's that great. Um, Zeus? No, not Zeus. How about Hestia? That would be an interesting one, right? Because with Hestia, we could get, um, uh, we can get the Scorch going. And if we put our cast down, then use our Omega special, and our specials are going towards targets in the cast, and we can, on a boss, we can almost guarantee that we're hitting with all of our specials on the single uh, target to stack up Scorch. I actually think that might be pretty good. Let's try it. That might be a very interesting. So we put this here. Yeah. So with that, it definitely um, locks in. Okay, I like that. I think that's. I think that's pretty good. I think that's very good. Can we do any things on the surface? What would be it this time? So if I do two shields, I can get at least something from the surface. All right, let's try it. 